Hey everybody, welcome to lecture 7, Mathematical Induction, that's in your Analysis of Algorithms course. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through some idea of what mathematical induction is and we're going to use it to prove a result on a graph. Now the thing is, I know you guys have actually done mathematical induction in math, so I'm not going to be too um, tight on things like definitions and stuff, you guys have seen all of that. What I am going to do is give you a bit of an analogy of how induction works. Okay, so here's an example. Here's something that I think is illustrative of how we, how induction works. So let's say my goal is to steal Steve's title of meme lord. You guys had Steve lecturing last year. You know he's the lord of the memes. But now I'm going to dethrone him. So for me to dethrone him, I need to make sure everyone gets hold of my memes. So let's say there's an infinitely long line of people. I want my, one of my memes to go to every person in this line, right? So if I reformulate that in a bit of a more mathematical way, I could say that if I make the statement person n has my meme, I want that statement to be true for every natural number n, right? That'll mean that everybody has my meme. So you might say the most obvious strategy is just send my meme to everybody but there's an infinite number of people to send it to. And you guys know me well enough to know that I'm way too lazy to do an infinite amount of work. Okay, so what I want to do instead is, I just want to send it to the first person. Now, me having sent it to the first person means that if I look at the statement person n has my meme, that's true for n equals zero, right? Because person zero has my meme, okay? But that meme, that meme of me with my lightsaber, is not particularly good. So that's all that happens. Person zero has it and they're not gonna pass on my meme and it just it just gets stuck. The statement won't be true even for n equals one. Person one will not have my meme and, and, and person two won't have it. Basically the only person who has it is person naught. But what if I make a meme that's so good that if someone has it, they're compelled to pass it on. They can't just hold on to it because it's too good. Haha, <laughs> now that's a bit of meme. Okay, so if I'm using that meme and I send it to person naught, person naught has to pass it to person one because it's just too good to hold on to. Okay? Similarly, person one has no choice but to send it to person two. And person two has to send it to three and four and five and six and so on. Okay? More generally, I could say that person k is compelled to send it to person k plus one for all k. Okay? So, if I wanted to get to the point where the statement person n has my meme is true for all n, I needed to do two things. The first thing was I had to send the meme to somebody. So I had to ensure that my statement person n has my meme was true for n equals naught. Okay, so I had to send my meme to person naught. That in induction is called the base case. Okay, that would have gotten me sort of halfway there. The next thing I need to do is ensure that my meme would definitely be passed. So what I'd want to say is that if person k has my meme, then person k plus one automatically has it, right? Again, in math, I could say if the statement person k has my meme is true, then person k plus one has my meme is also true, okay? This is called the induction step um, in mathematics, okay? Now, the reason that this makes the statement true for all values is that as you can see, it the, the the post sort of goes viral, right? If person naught has it, person one has it, and person two has it, and it just keeps going on and on and on until person infinity has it, okay? So fundamentally, it becomes true for all people in this infinite list. 